esteemed gentleman from the Netherlands and the Prince of Orange, William III. Uncle. Now, oh, William, look at you. I am impressed. As will the young ladies of my court be. <laughs> you can all leave now. So, what would you think if I was to make you king of the Netherlands? The king of England does not decide who gets to be the king of the Netherlands. Doesn't he? Louis, the king of France, would like that. We'll throw him a bone. He can have the South Netherlands. It's nothing more than a marshy swamp anyway. You want me to divide the Netherlands? Give half of my country to the Catholics? What do you care? Listen, we only became Protestant because Henry couldn't keep his prick in his codpiece. But it is not a matter of faith or the color of the flag or the puppets in Parliament. It's about us, William. We are the country. Our blood flows in its soil and gives life to every blade of grass that grows. So what do you say? Isn't this something you've always dreamt of? Don't you want to be king? Of a province of England? Don't spoil it. I'm only doing this for you anyway. Oh. Affairs of state, my little saucy song. <laughs> I'll be with you very soon. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like girls? You have laid this before the French? No, I wanted to discuss it with you first. You surely don't expect me to betray my country, do you? I expect you to do your duty by your family. <laughs> Is that the only thing you could think of, my family? Don't be insolent. Our fleet just blown yours to smithereens. Oh, yes, I heard about that extraordinary feat. Am I supposed to believe that the Dutch Republic is a fact? Learn to live with it. I think you can go now. <laughs>